most rockets, I think all rockets have multiple stages mm -hmm. uh, today. Uh, maybe they'll take us in a discussion of what ideas that could be for single stage uh, to orbit rockets. But can you describe this whole thing that you've been mentioning here and there of multiple stages of a rocket? Yeah, yeah no, that's a good question. So ultimately, you know, like I said, we're, you're kind of pushing about 90% of the rockets, like basically just fuel with some skin on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so uh, that skin weighs a lot of, uh, you know, skin and the engines do weigh a lot. You know, like I said, the, the Falcon 9 on its own is about 20 tons. Just the booster is about 20 metric tons. Um, so it's not an insignificant amount of weight. So the idea is with staging is you ditch anything you don't need, more or less. So um, in the, you know, Falcon 9 is a perfect rocket to think about this because you have an a upper stage and you have a booster, you know, our first stage. And the first stage burns through all of its fuel. Once it's out of fuel, you let go of the second stage and ta-da, you actually just basically started and lit a brand new fresh rocket, you know, and this brand new fresh rocket now doesn't have all that, that 20 tons attached to it. So it's a lot lighter. It doesn't need, you know, as nearly as many engines to push it around. It needs just one instead of nine. Um, its engine can be optimized for the vacuum of space as opposed to having to operate it at sea level with all of our rel actually pretty thick atmosphere, you know, relatively. <clears throat> so there's, so staging is basically the idea that you get rid of things you don't need. Um, on Earth, again, kind of that whole like 10% harder, 10% easier. If it was 10% easier, single stage to orbit would be no big deal. And it probably would have been like the 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 way to get to orbit by choice, just because like it's not that hard. But with our Earth as it is, uh, with physics as it is, it's just, it's doable. And we've had, and you know, we almost kind of actually the first orbit to take humans or the first rocket to take humans into orbit uh, for the, from the United States um, which was the Atlas rocket um, was kind of a stage and a half. It actually only had like one big fuel tank. And what they did is they actually dropped off two of its three engines. Mm -hmm. So it just ditched some of the engines. But if it hadn't done that, you know, so kind of people were like, well, that was single stage. It's like, it still had a staging event. It still had a yeah. ditch mass in order to even make it into orbit. Had it not done that, it would have not been able to get into orbit. So you, you pretty quickly look at your trade and say, okay, well, if I want to stick to single stage to orbit, my payload mass becomes f tiny, you know, like you, you might be able to put like, you know, a Falcon 9 booster on its own. Like if you just flew one of the side core boosters of a Falcon Heavy with a nose cone on it and everything to say, I'm just going to fly this on its own. You might be able to put like, a, you know, 10 kilograms into space or something, you know, mm -hmm. a very small amount. Well, throw a second stage on that thing. And now you can put, uh, you know, 17,000 kilograms into space. So it's just an order, you know, orders of magnitude more payload capacity because you did staging, because you ditched the vestigial weight. So um, th the other thing that's uh, hard about that too uh, is that the engines, again, that, that operate at sea level uh, are often not great in, in space and vice versa. Like you physically can't, uh, most optimized for space engines, you can't even operate at sea level. They'll, they'll destroy themselves due to something called flow separation. Mm -hmm. So um, not only are you getting the benefit of ditching all the weight, but you're also able to use a much more efficient and less, typically, you know, much less powerful engine in space. 